What's up guys? I'm Eric I'm from Jersey and this is my 2016 IS300 which I don't like as much as you would think and I'll tell you why right now um, I have four main reasons for this and this, this is not a bash on Lexus Lexus is a reliable car they won reliability best reliability for the year I guess 2018 so Here's the actual three-year ownership cost on this car. All the issues, I guess, little problems that it has. So, let's take a look here. It's funny, I don't know, we're in Jersey, I still don't feel like something in front of my car. I just don't do that. But, let's go over. I had no accidents with this car the entire time. Thank God for that. But, unfortunately, I've had a tire blowout on me once. I've had to replace all four tires two times already. And this is within two and a half years of it. So each tire at the dealership at least is about $260 each. So we're up to just with tires alone, about $1,500 I paid for with tax and everything included. Um, they gave me some discounts for labor. I know you guys are gonna say you could probably get a better price at a different place, but it's a leased car, so I'd rather just take it to a dealership, get the maintenance records done, and this is what it costs. The other thing, going to biggest problem with this car. So, about 259 horsepower, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this car only averages 19.7 miles per gallon. I'm not exaggerating, I'm not gassing at all. Like This is exactly what it averages, and I had this car, look, for 43,000 miles I drove it already. And this is the best gas mileage I've had. And it's an eco mode right now, as you can see. I don't, it's not fast enough to have 19 miles per gallon, in my opinion. This is like high, this is a high range. I've been kind of stretching it out, driving extra slow to get this up to make Lexus look better for this video, probably. But that's, that's a big problem. Three, number three reason. There's no digital clock anywhere in this car. This car is a 2016 and there's no digital clock. The only clock in this car is this analog clock here, which now that I touch it, it actually feels pretty cheap too. I mean, it's a lot of plastic. It's not, it's a nice looking interior. I can't complain about that. It has heating, cool seats. It has all this stuff, I guess, as far as like luxury is concerned, but the tech is out of date, even for this year. Uh, to give an example, one of my friends bought a Kia. I don't know the exact name of the Kia, but he bought a Kia. And it has Apple CarPlay, it has everything in the same year as this. This car has no Apple CarPlay, which is my fourth point. We tried to go to New York City, which is only about 40 minutes from us, and use the car GPS, not an option at all. I know people are gonna say like no cars have that really still, but this thing took us, if you know Jersey, took us to the middle of North, and I didn't know if we were gonna make it out, to be honest. In the middle of the night, like, she was crazy. We tried to have a good night. Look, come look at this. This has no, like, it just looks so old. This must be from like 2012, 2013 at the earliest. And it still looks out of date. It's slow. It's, it's clunky. And it's just not, you know, it's, it doesn't even make sense. Like, what town are we in right now? You can't tell. But I'm going to be doing a full car review on this very soon. Full review in at least 10 minutes, I promise. And we're going to show you... I guess everything about the car, the good and the bad, instead of just the bad. But I had to call Lexus a little bit for reliability because they claim to be so reliable. And my Porsche Boxster costs less in two and a half years as well. Because I get cars like every two years, every three years or so. It costs less than this. And pretty much every car I've ever owned, this is the most expensive car and it's a lease. And I've still have to put out more money for it. So that's not including with the dealership cover. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys that before you like jump on it because when I first got it, you know, the all-wheel drive is attractive. I haven't had an issue with that, but but look, I mean, it looks it looks like a nice car. It's, it's reasonably priced. I think 51 for this, I believe, with the lease. And it looks, it's a very attractive looking car. I'll get it cleaned up for you guys in the review too. And I'll do a 060 startup. I'm also gonna be doing a Maserati soon, so that's gonna be much more fun. And maybe in a Ferrari, we'll see when we go to dealership. Um, we're actually looking at the Maserati Gran Turismo right now, so that's another thing we're doing. But as far as this car, 
decent in the snow. Tires are not great, obviously, you need winter tires. It can get through it because of all wheel drive, I'll say that, one benefit. But it's been overall kind of a disappointment. Just not a very like fun car for somebody in their early to mid 20s. You're gonna want something just looks more sporty than it is, I'll say that. That's, that's basically what I'm trying to get to today. But I have much more reviews coming up for you guys. More inside tips, I've been studying cars my whole life. So I got a lot of information to share. And we're going to be showing some really cool, not just like the exotic Lamborghinis, but I'm looking for like cars you never see. I guess Doug would be another person who does it, but I'm just trying to bring it to a new level. So you'll see more coming up. Stay tuned.